When the sun comes out and the weather is warm, people love to go to the beach. Going to the sea has become an increasingly popular destination over the last 100 years. When we enter the ocean, however, we are not alone. There are many types of creatures with one at the top of the food chain. With rows of razor sharp teeth, a body perfected for swimming, and extra senses that we don't possess, it's no wonder that sharks are the apex predator of the sea. It's also no wonder that to us humans, sharks are an image of fear. In ancient mythology, sharks pop up as gods or deities to be worshipped or feared. As history went on, sailors told tales of terror from encounters at sea. But for a long time, sharks were these mysterious beasts that many people didn't know about. At one point, it was thought that sharks couldn't bite through human bone. Most knowledge was based on speculation. However, that all changed with the Jersey Shore shark attacks in 1916. Within two weeks, five shark attacks occurred, with four being fatal. It was this event that gave the shark the reputation as a man-eater. Later on, to popularise this viewpoint of sharks, came the 1974 novel of Jaws and the blockbuster film that came out the year after. But how dangerous are they really? Out of over 400 species, only a few are known to attack people. Species such as the great white, tiger and bull shark are known to be potentially dangerous and whilst all three have been involved in fatal attacks, they have also had swimmers and divers swim with them in close proximity without getting bitten. The fact is that humans are not natural prey of sharks. We don't have enough fat on us to be considered a meal, especially to a species like the great white shark, who much prefer to eat animals full of blubber, such as seals. Despite this fact, shark attacks still do occur, and research has shown the number of attacks has increased in the last 20 years. So why do shark attacks happen? There are a few possible reasons. One is due to mistaken identity. In waters with poor visibility, a shark may bite a human thinking it was something else. This could explain why a number of attacks occur on surfers, as below the surface, the shadow looks fairly similar to a seal. Another reason that is more favoured by scientists is that sharks bite merely out of curiosity. Sharks are known to bump into and bite objects, to understand what they are and if they are edible or not. A shark attack to the shark may not be an attack, but an investigation. As to why shark attacks are increasing, as more people enter the water, there will be an increase in the probability of a shark-human interaction. And yet, according to scientists, you're much more likely to get struck by lightning than get attacked by a shark. Statistics show that in 2019, there were around 101 reported shark-related incidents worldwide with 64 being confirmed as unprovoked. Out of these attacks, only around 6 were fatal. Compared to other death rates, this is extremely low. The flu kills hundreds of thousands of people every year. Lightning strikes kill several thousand people. Champagne corks, selfies, vending machines, and even getting out of bed all have higher mortality rates than shark attacks. Despite their statistics, Shark attacks can still happen if people were entered the water. So how can shark attacks be avoided? We now know that sharks are attracted to loud noises, splashing, blood, and bright and shiny colours. Noticing certain signs can be important as well. Fishermen baiting with chum, large groups of fish, seals, or other typical prey of sharks, could be an indication that sharks may be hunting in the area. If you see a shark, keep calm. Signs of panic and splashing about might indicate to the shark 
that you might be potential prey and attract the shark's interest. In most instances, sharks just ignore and swim past people. However, some people have been known to form special bonds with these animals. Shark experts who spend their life working with sharks frequently encounter them, often without much protection. By understanding the shark's body language, they can safely interact with the creatures in a way that many of us could interact with a pet dog or cat. It further proves that for many decades, how misunderstood sharks have been. Whilst sharks ignore us mostly, unfortunately, we don't ignore them. Whilst sharks kill on average around five people a year worldwide, according to reports, around 100 million sharks are estimated to be killed by people, not just because they are feared, but also for sport and commercial products. Many sharks have their fins cut off and are dumped back into the ocean to die just to use the fins for shark fin soup, an eastern delicacy. There is no scientific evidence, however, that this soup has any health benefits and in fact may be harmful to people due to the high levels of mercury that are present in sharks. There are those willing to fight for sharks though. Researchers and conservationists continue to study and learn about sharks as well as find new methods to protect them. Organisations such as the Sharks Trust and Project Aware work towards sharks conservation with volunteers around the world helping to protect one of the most misunderstood creatures on the planet. Music